I'm so tickled. I got happy mail. I ordered some needles from an Etsy shop. You guys may know her as Crafty Bit, Crafty Bit Creations. Marika, I um, hope I pronounced your name right. But it was so cute. I got I got it in the mail to. Oh, can't see my address. Got it in the mail today. <laughs> Unless you want my address. Uh, <laughs> if you want my address, PM me and I will. Uh, I'll give you my address. But anyway, I ordered some needles from her. I'd been wanting to do it for quite a while actually, and right now she's got some needle minders that she's making with cross stitch, and they are so adorable. They're her own creations. She also has some uh, stitch markers for those of you who crochet and knit. And they're really precious as well. They're really pretty good quality. But anyway, so it was really cute because I opened up my little package and I got this. And she put a little owl sticker on it. It's so cute. And then she put a little owl sticker on her little personal note. Wasn't that sweet? And she thanked me for shopping with her. I will leave a link to her shop below. Um, you guys need to go check her out. She also uh, has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, two of them, actually. One where she does her cards and her... Um, she opens up a box from a... I would assume it's a monthly subscription that she gets from a company that um, does rubber stamps. And I can't think of the name of it right now, but anyway. Um, go check her out. Like I said, I'll leave a link to her shop below. And But anyway, so this is how it came. And I already opened it because I had to look at it. But this is like a really nice tissue paper. I'm going to open this with one hand. And I just want you to see how she did this because it is so cute. I was really impressed. So she puts it on her little business card of Crafty Bit Creations. And I think she colored the little heart herself because it kind of bled through the back. But it's so cute. And she used washi tape and she put them inside of a little Ziploc bag. And then she, um, I bought, by the way, this price was phenomenal. They came from Sweden. I'm in Tennessee in the United States. I got a hundred of these for seven bucks. A hundred gold eyed needles for seven bucks, size 26. 26 is universal for me because I use the 24 on the 22 count. I mean, I'm sorry, I use size 28 on the 22 count um, fabric. And I use a 24 for my 14 count. But these 26 are perfect from 22 all the way to 14. They're perfect. Um, but I am just, I'm so tickled. I can't wait to start using them. But she puts a little piece of felt in the back. Is that not cute? It's a bag inside of a bag. But anyway, and then at the bottom of her card, she puts her shop. But it's www.etsy.com slash shop slash crafty bit creations. But like I said, I'll leave the link below. So if you want to click on it, you're welcome to. But anyway, I just wanted to share that because I've been wanting to order from her for a while. And it just so happened. Um, it's sort of like you rub my back, I rub yours type thing. Um, somebody had bought one of my patterns from my Etsy shop, which went on my PayPal card. So I used my PayPal card to get needles to do more cross stitch. So there. So it really didn't cost me anything. And shipping was cheap, and I'm just totally impressed. So thank you very much, uh, Marika, and uh, good luck with your shop. Um, Anybody else that has an Etsy shop out there, let me know. And, and if you want um, a shout out, we will do that as well. You can also find my shop, of course. I'm Young 40 Mom. You can Google Young 40 Mom and find me all over the internet, everywhere. Um, that's, oh, I'm getting messages on my phone. Um, a little ex-family crisis going on today. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. And this is going to be part of my video compilation. I'm, I'm putting little bits all together. But anyway, I uh, will see you in the next segment. Alright guys and gals, it's time for a Stitch Mania update. Today is the 15th. It's supposed to be the last day. Um, hopefully my battery won't run out and I won't run out of memory. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I've got a couple of inserts to put in. So, to recap, we're going to start with, I did a video midway, but I'm going to show you my progress on those um, up to this point. Um, after this, I will only show what I have either started or completed from today's date forward. Okay, or never mind, just scratch that. I'll explain later. <laughs> okay, all right, so 
this was day one it is a complete I think I did show that before this was the ghost card from the book I showed from uh, one of my previous stash videos so he is a complete here is another complete and this would be the Periwinkle by Carolyn's Meadow which is day two day three was the Hummingbird Bliss Jiffy oh and I meant to take it out of the bag hang on I'll be right back sorry about that okay so this is how far I got on that one I, and like I said I, I'm not too impressed with the way that they did the graph on this one um, it, it's actually a little hard to read but I'm going to soldier on with it and work on it at some other point so there's that that was day three okay I have everything written down so I wouldn't forget where I was uh, day four is my abstract angel uh, angles that I created um, this is on my Etsy shop because I've got to start doing more of my own so I can get pictures of it but this is how far I got on it um, I am doing this on 22 count uh, looks like looks like Ada uh, possibly an even weave can't really tell but anyway um, so I got I'm doing it um, two over one tint stitch and there's that I still have to put the black in the middle but that's as far as I got on that one that was day four day five um, five and six I worked on a couple of bookmarks one of the bookmarks was this this is how far I got on the cat and jack-o-lantern um, I just need to do the back stitching on this one and then add the two star beads that go on here so there's that um, day six is called dreams this is as far as I got on it um, I still have to do the butterfly up here and do um, the word dreams and then finish the flowers and do a little bit of back stitching on that one day seven was my Garfield a day without cats uh, can't show you the pattern but this is how far I got on him just a little bit on his head I didn't really work much on him after that all right next we have fallen leaves which was a free DMC pattern I did finish it make sure I, that's the way it goes but that's the way it turned out that is so pretty it's the first time I ever worked with variegated threads so I'm pretty tickled with the results there was a couple spots where I kind of got the count off but you can't tell it because I kind of compensated so um, I can't really tell where it was I know it was up here but anyway it, that turned out really good I'm, I'm very pleased with that one I have to put my initials on it then we have Daisy Sprig it is a complete that turned out really cute I'm happy with that one but to me they, they look more like they're daisies but they look more like daffodils if it, if it weren't for I mean dandelions if it weren't for the brown in the center if you put white in the center they could be dandelions very easily so that with that I'm pretty happy with that uh, I don't know neither one of those were in the last video next on Mother's Day on the 10th um, I started my oh nope that's not it um, that's actually an extra fabric I've got ready for the next one um, and I've got this turned wrong I started my portrait of my daughter um, I thought it was appropriate for Mother's Day let me show you what it's gonna look like isn't that adorable she was just maybe oh, she wasn't even a year yet I don't think or maybe she was around a year when I, I did this one I should have put the date on it but I didn't but anyway um, just started in the corner there I don't normally start my work in the corner I usually start in the center but I allowed so much extra fabric on the edge um, I went ahead and decided to do that and I don't grid um, I just count um, so I just go by instinct and that's where we are on that one that one uh, is gonna take me a while I think it's how many pages did I make this one I made this one six pages so it's not bad I guess all right so that's what I did on the 10th on Mother's Day and let's see on the 11th I did the walk the plank bookmark which 
that's the walk the plank bookmark um this is what the dreams one is going to look like when it's done isn't that cute that's what it's going to look like and then this is what the cat and jack-o-lantern is going to look like when i get it done um where did i put him oh here he is oh let me do it on a white background okay so this is where i got with him um i have to finish the lettering down here and i have to do fill in the white and do the back stitch um, around his face so that's where i got on the walk the plank bookmark um a future project i have my canvas cut out ready to do another one of these in the future mm, i'll discuss that in a minute Let's set that i'm running out look at this i'm running out of space see oh there's my tablet i'm running out of space here i've got my there's my pile of my whips there's my backup floss waiting to go and then there's some more books that i'm going to go over in my stash when i never get to it and then that is some special not specialty threads but it's um dmc satin uh, that they had a clearance sale for 19 cents a skein at my michaels but anyway i digress all right next i did on the on the 12th i did a teacher's bookmark um, I do not have that to show you here, but I am going to insert a clip here of what it looks like. Okay, so I wanted to film this real quick, um, and I'll probably be adding it to my Stitch Mania results. Um, I'm giving this to Maddie's teacher. This is for day 12 of the Stitch Mania. And the pattern called for it to be um, on black fabric. And to do a hem and a stitch, but I had these cute little um, 18 count Ada bookmarks that I got on clearance. Oh gosh, 12, 13 years ago, I don't know. But anyway, so I thought I'd do one out of that uh, bookmarks galore that I showed you on one of my stash videos. But it says, Teachers Never Really Lose Their Class. And then I put Matson's name at the bottom, and then the year um, is calculated on that. I just did that free hem. It's got little apples on it. Um, this is ABC. It's a pencil, which turned out really cute. And then one, two, three. But anyway, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And I also used, I have a liquid fabric stiffener. So, stiffened it because it was extremely soft. And then I took some parchment paper on the back and ironed it out. So, it is the, it's all dry. It's the perfect little bookmark for her teacher for second grade and I'm gonna brag a little bit we went to her honors awards today and she was in the top five for accelerated reader and she also got the golden coveted achievement award for making a 93 or above and not making a C all year long so very proud of that all right so on to the rest okay so that turned out really good um, next is the Garfield. This is for you. This one's for you. I started it on the 13th. Glance at it. Can't show you what it looks like. And this is my progress. I got his foot. That's about as far as I got. I'm doing this on 22 count as well. Two over one. Um, but I, I do do a center line. When I do a center, I always do the center line. Then I haven't cut it out. Okay, so that was the 13th. On the 14th, um, I started a free DMC chart called Enjoy Nature. Um, you can't tell what it is, but that's that's what it's going to be. And I got, turn it around, the top part of the border started doing it. But... Okay, so, and today, I'm going to start Freddy the Frog. Let me see, where'd Freddy go? These are a couple of old patterns that um, I got from 1977. <laughs> but they're so cute, and they were, they're just paper copies that I got. They were in a book that my stepmom gave me. I, I'm, I mean, this was, what, 32 years ago? No, 30? Oh, gosh. 77, I was 10, 37, 38 years ago. Anyway, 
you get the point. I'm not going to show you the pattern. I'm going to pull it up. So there's Freddy the Frog, or Freddy Frog, and then Ladybug. So, this is my goal right now. Freddy Frog is going to be today. Ladybug, yep, you saw it. The 16th is going to be tomorrow. I <laughs> am crazy. This is Stitch Mania. I am going to progress as long as I possibly can. And I'm going to shoot for the 30 days of Mania. Yep, you heard me right. 15 down, 15 to go. I figured I'm not working right now. It, if I go on an interview, I'm only gone for a few hours at a time anyway. So it's not like a full 8 hour day. So why not take advantage of that time and stitch? Um, so, there you go. I have this fabric ready for the next project. I am fixing to get these fabrics ready for the next two projects. Um, and I am going to end my update here. I will be um, adding to this clip with the stitchy tag from uh, Angie, A Stitch in Time. Um, it's simple. She has three questions about the mania since the majority of the people are going to the 15th and I have lost my freaking mind. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and be part of that tag and go ahead and add to it. So I will be right back with the tag. Okay guys, I am going to do the, um, the Stitch Mania tag that uh, Stitch and Time Angie proposed. Um, it is derived of three questions. And I'm going to add one myself. Um, only because it's an answer I want to give. <laughs> I'm curious to see um, what you guys think. Okay, so Angie's first question is, did you accomplish what you wanted to? Uh, yes, and then some. Um, I flew by the seat of my pants, and I had an idea of what I wanted to do in my head when I started, and things just got changed around. Um, would, number two, would you do Mania again? Yes, I would. Um, I would plan better, uh, for, um, if we do it again, I'd say, uh, it's going to take me a while because I'd like to finish all the ones that I'm going to start, or have started. I've completed five, no, yes, no, four of the 15. I have three that are um, almost completed, and then the other ones are uh, bigger, bigger, much bigger projects. Uh, number three, have you learned anything about yourself through doing this? Yes, I have. Um, I have learned that <laughs> I am not organized. Uh, no, I, I, I have learned that uh, I love cross-stitching, but I also realized I love it more than I thought because I'm very passionate about crochet as well. And I think I picked up my crochet hook this month maybe once, twice possibly. Um, just yeah so <laughs> sorry about that uh number four do you pee in the shower that's personal Just kidding. <laughs> i'm sorry i had to throw that in there running joke in the group on facebook garrett <laughs> sorry it's been a long day um the fourth one that i do want to add to Angie's list and you guys can add to it if you would like um, that's fine I'm just curious uh, did you find what did you find about this the most challenging or what did you find the most challenging about the stitch mania and what I found most challenging was being organized with that many whips trying to figure out where to put them, what order to lay them in. Um, my craft room is packed and I try to keep it organized. But um, but yeah, um, in advance, I'm probably going to plan it better. Um, I, I planned it day by day this time. 
but having said that, I'm going the full 30 days. As most of you know, I'm not working right now. Um, I am gainfully seeking employment since I am... You are naked. Go get back in there and get your jammies on. I wanted to listen. That's it. I want to listen. Bye, child. Came in here naked. <laughs> she just got out of the please, shower. Can I, please, oh can Oh, my I, gosh. Can I just listen? Okay, please. just go put your pajamas on first now. Here. Go. Please. Here. Here. I'm not naked. One. Two. I'm not naked. Three. I'm not naked, Bob. I'm not naked. Thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> oh my gosh, child. Um, anyway, so as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and go the full 30 days, even though there's 31 in, in, in May, but um, I'm going to do 30. <laughs> I'm not getting this out. You guys have to watch it. Um, I'm doing the 30. So. Having said that, I have already pieced together my fabric with each one of my patterns that I'm going to do for the next 15. None of them are kits. They are old patterns that I got from the 70s. Yes, the majority of them are. Um, some of them, are, I, I've got two more Garfields in there, and I've also got um, some more of those bookmarks, and I think a couple cards. My hands start to shake. Oh, I have neuropathy. Um, and so if you don't know what that is, it's nerve damage in your hands and feet due to diabetes. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so that's the fourth one. So the fourth one again is what did you find the most challenging? And I want to know what you guys found out that, you know, you decided was the most challenging for you. So if you would, um, just add that in when you're doing this, if you haven't already, or when you make a next video, just it to it let me know or leave a comment below I don't care um, but that's it that's the update um, I'm gonna get this up now and hopefully you guys will be able to see it oh, somebody send me a message kind of flirting I'm single I'm allowed anyway uh, 